and Gentlebug, Berkeley Beetle proudly presents Thumbelina! We came to Dublin because the first presented talent and because the IDA, the Irish government here, gave us grants to train Irish people and allowed financially for us to go on building the animation world. <laughs> we are gonna be the talk of the town, Toots! Thumbelina has uh, probably the largest number of drawings we've ever done per minute or per, per second. We always try to add as much detail to the picture as possible. It would be the shadows that work under the characters. Um, the character stepped in a, in a puddle, the water that splashes up from that. I estimate there are probably somewhere around a, a million to a million and a half drawings total. Ah, uh, hi. You know what? I want to show you some of the stuff we're doing here. First, I'd like you to take you into background and let you see how we paint a background. You're going to love this. Come over with me. Now, there you are. Uh, we're painting a background in this room, and so I want you to see that. If you could look right down on this board, my friend Kevin here is putting on what we call the first wash. And what we're trying to do, watch this, we're trying to create this little scene where Thumbelina is born out of the opening of a flower. Bluth is very much taking the Disney the tradition, uh, has not tried necessarily to break out from that, has just done it very well himself too. Uh, Thumbelina, I understand, has got a fair usage of computer. I think he's trying to push the medium within this fairy tale uh, genre. Oh, you're here. You beat me. Um, well, this is Tom. He's here in our computer department. And uh, I want him to show you here what we're doing on the computer. Tom, okay. I think it's yours. Here's what we've been up to. We've, we're in progress on this uh, building at the end of a 18th century street scene. And notice it's Tom, much... Tom, that's, that, that's that looks like wires. That's not going to work. Well, don't panic yet. Don't panic yet. Here, here's a quick uh, render of it, a quick shading of it. What I'm going to do is take some of these brick textures and wrap them around the, the, the turrets. And we're going to take bits and pieces of here and work out the rooftops. You got it. You're going to wallpaper that. Basically, we're oh. wallpapering it, yeah. Oh. Jeez, I hope this comes off. Let's give you somewhat of an idea how it's going to play in the scene. Oh, yeah. There is going to be some lighting okay. involved. That okay, I like okay. that. Yeah, that's good, man. Right. That's very good. <laughs> you had me panic there for a second. <laughs> Merging of live action and animation is definitely taking place. I think there's a breaking down of barriers. I think it's something that is evolving, and uh, it's very exciting to be uh, involved in it at the moment, where you can very much feel this uh, evolution taking place. You would have to cite uh, films like Jurassic Park uh, for breaking some of these barriers, uh, pushing these things to the limit. Jurassic Park is a perfect example of an animated film that happens to look real. I mean, it's another venue for telling a story. And I am intrigued by all venues of storytelling. If you're telling a good story with good characters, I want to see it told in different ways. And animation, and I'm talking about cell animation, is one of the classic, wonderful ways to tell a story that will be here forever.